Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Hope everything in your world is good. Um, you know, last night I took a trip to my local hardwood dealer, um, which is a, it's a man, it's a guy. Uh, and I was, I was going to tell you all about today because I picked up a really amazing piece of wood for a good price and he threw in uh, this piece of hickory. And I've never worked with hickory, and oh my god, this board is dense. This is ridiculously hardwood. And I wanted to talk about that, but I can't. I can't, I can't do it, because the other topic that I've wanted to talk about uh, since the weekend, uh, I just can't get it off my mind, and that is Westworld. So, I finished Westworld Season 2 over the weekend. Uh, that was our go-to show after finishing Sopranos. Actually, before we finished Sopranos, we started watching Westworld 2 because Sopranos just kind of got weird. But, um, we finished Season 2, and I can't get it off my mind, and not for good reasons. Um, what is Disappointment. Like, season one was such an amazing show. Just, season one of Westworld, probably one of the best series I've ever seen. And, you know, I've seen the movie multiple times growing up. And um, so I had a little bit of expectation going into it. But uh, seeing season two and what they did with this series, it just was so bad. Just, I can't even, I can't even describe how let down I was at season two. And maybe, maybe I'm just being, um, you know, an elitist or something. I don't know. I don't know. I, what I, what I really want to say is that I, I would love to know your opinion. I would love for you to say, Chevy, you're wrong. And these are the reasons because season one was this amazing kind of thriller, uh, that, that as by the way there's going to be a lot of spoilers here so if you don't if you don't want to hear that stuff just go away and come back after you've seen them um season 1 had this this whole like timeline jumping thing and that obviously we didn't know until later in the season but once they started to reveal the timeline jumping once that kind of came to light uh it, it got spelled out pretty clearly like we got we got a pretty good grasp on what was happening um pretty quickly after they revealed that there we were watching we had been watching multiple timelines all season um timeline or season two attempted to do the same thing but just failed horribly like i'm still not like they they did it they did the timeline jumping they bounced around and said there you go that's what you get but i'm still not convinced that i know or understand what any individual scene which timeline we were in whereas after the first season it was it was spelled out pretty clear like they had a clearly defined characters that didn't exist in this timeline that did exist in that timeline whereas season two it's all just kind of muddled together in this really weird way and not only that they had characters that just did absolutely nothing for the story and i get it maybe they'll be maybe they'll come back in season three and those characters will play a very important role but they had there was a quite a bit of season two that was completely useless like you could have just wholesale remove those episodes and it would have done nothing just been like okay no big deal um you know they had this Maeve character that that really played a big part of season one and at the start of season two she was really it became really intriguing and interesting ended up just being kind of a loser and kind of just sad and it wasn't she wasn't even really that good at doing what she was trying to do and i guess maybe that introduced a little bit of humanity into the robots and kind of made us feel feel but it didn't make me feel anything other than frustrated that I had watched this whole storyline of hers for it to ultimately mean nothing like it ultimately did nothing um her storyline didn't matter like the, the the hosts were going to find the crack anyway I, it was just like I don't know it was so bizarre so you know I just felt weird like and I still feel like what Maybe I need to go back and rewatch the entire season. The season opened pretty strong. There were some really cool reveals, you know, especially when we discovered what the purpose of the park was. Like, I, they kind of started trickling that in early. And they said it a lot in season one. Like, you still don't understand what the point of this place is. You still don't understand what the point of this place is. They kept telling us that. And we didn't. But it, we, we kind of figured it out pretty quickly in season two. And then it just kind of, from that point forward, it was just kind of like, eh. 
we just gave up. Like we just had to hit 10 episodes. So we just filled it with some stuff. <laughs> I don't know. It felt, it felt, it felt bad. Um, and I have reserved, I haven't, I haven't gone on online. Typically when something hits me this badly that I really like, God, did I, am I an idiot? You know, I usually go online and kind of read up some stuff and, and try to see what people are saying to see if, if my views and my perceptions are way out of line. Uh, this time I have not done that because I'm just so bleh about it that it was just like, well, I want to talk about it on the show. So I'm going to do that eventually. Today's that day because I just need to get it off my chest. I know that some of you are, are Westworld fans, so I'd love to hear what you think. There was a lot of cool stuff in season two. I will say that. Like, I really enjoyed seeing Shogun World, um, you know, had seeing the movie. I was wondering if they were really going to bring any of the other parks into it. There's a lot of really cool fight scenes. There's a lot of really awesome concepts. But I don't feel like any of that stuff paid off. Like, it was all just kind of filler. And it felt... There's a lot of there was a lot of time this season that I was just like why are we why are we why are we watching this like this doesn't this doesn't help me at all and uh, whereas in season one those filler moments were like oh this is bizarre why what is going on here season two it was kind of like me eh. like we know what's going on so we're just showing you stuff that looks cool and uh, you know I appreciate that I appreciate seeing you know just blood and fight scenes and the the samurai mer massacre was kind of fun uh but other than that the rest of that whole storyline was just kind of like okay again it could be that season three may have turns around and become something big but uh that doesn't help season two be any better in my opinion uh I'm typically not one to go back and rewatch something so if if Season three ends up paying off for Maeve, then it doesn't really matter that season two sucks. Season two still sucked, in my opinion. So I'd love to know what you think. That's what the comments are for. Tomorrow we're going to talk about wood <laughs> because um, this this wood trip coincided with a project I'm working on and an article I'm writing. So I thought it would be uh, it's a good time to talk about that. So uh, thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. Please let me know uh, if my opinions are crazy in the comments below and. Uh, we can have a civil discussion. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, Doc, wait! I want to ask you something. Taser, in fact, comes from oceanservice.noaa.gov. Which, which side is the starboard side of a ship? When looking forward towards the bow of a ship, port and starboard refer to the left and right sides, respectively. Starboard's on the right. In the early days of boating, before ships had rudders on their center lines, boats were controlled using a steering board on the right-hand side. Starboard.